Hi, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. In today's video, I'm going to talk about something that is very expensive, and that is veterinary services for pets. Um, if you'd like to uh, get notified, speaking of pets, thank you, Bear. Uh, if you'd like to get notified about new videos that I publish about franchising, just hit the subscribe button and you will be notified as soon as I publish new videos. This video is about veterinary pet franchises. But first, a short story. Uh, we've had a couple dogs. Uh, our first dog was a, a purebred uh, Airedale Terrier, a rather large one. Winston was a big boy and he had some issues and I took him to a veterinarian um, numerous times over his life. Um, and then we got a rescue dog, Bear, um, which is back there somewhere. I think you saw him uh, hop off the, uh, the chair. And uh, he's a rescue dog. He's a great, great dog. He's about 11 years old, we think. And, uh, you know, he's had issues like any pets. And we use the same veterinary uh, clinic. Uh, so for, I don't know, 10, 10 years and then, 11, you know, 20 years, the same veterinary clinic. I have to tell you, it is really expensive. If you're a pet owner, it is very expensive to um, uh, go to a veterinary clinic. So I'm wondering if a veterinary pet franchise clinic um, could save consumers like me and you money because it's ridiculous. I mean, it's pretty much 200 bucks anytime you walk in a veterinary clinic. So my idea is, well, since franchising is such a cool model, and if there are enough franchises of a brand, that means buying power exists. So in a perfect world, a franchise pet clinic should be able to purchase medication, uh, pet supplies, medicines, etc., way cheaper than a one store, a one independent store of veterinary clinic, right? I mean, Franchising has great things about it. One of them is buying power. So I am curious, um, have you ever been to a veterinary pet clinic? I mean, there are a few franchises that are doing this now, probably more in the future. And if you've ever been to one, are they less expensive than your local veterinary clinic down the street from you? I'm curious. I mean, that's what franchising should do, right? It should enable franchisees to make money and to buy products for less because of group buying power than an independent business, right? So in a perfect world, some of those savings will be passed on to your customer. So I'm curious, if you've ever been to a veterinary pet clinic, is it cheaper? And if you are a franchisor of a veterinary clinic, are you attempting or are you literally passing those savings down that your, that your franchisees have to your patients, to your customers. I'm curious. I don't know enough about the veterinary pet clinic franchise world, but I know there are a few appearing, a few more coming. Uh, and I'm just curious. If you can help me, let me know in the comments. I'm the Franchise King, Joel LaBava, and I'm just trying to make pet services cheaper. Thanks for watching.